this isn't this isn't what it looks like I swear I mean I just wanted a little little nightcap just kidding no I'm, I'm really kidding uh, today I wanted to do a, another video of the studio tour downstairs um, because we haven't done one in a while so we're gonna go ahead and skippy skippy downstairs go downstairs backwards oh god um, there have been some things I wanted to get done but I haven't had the time to sand this and paint it um, so hopefully that's gonna be really soon there's another thing in here that I have the stuff for but I haven't put it together just yet um, but we'll just go ahead and skip right on in First, we're going to start with the wall behind this wall, which is the TV wall and the poster wall. So let's go ahead and skip right to the studio tour for April of 2016. So first off, of course, we have the Minecraft poster and the piano. Um, I moved the piano back over here instead of behind the couch, just because it gives the desk a little bit more space to kind of breathe. Um, and for me to roll around on my chair, because the wood floors, duh. Um, whew. Uh, we have a space chimp. This guy's my wingman. This is one of the three posters here that I got from uh, Four Human Peoples, Philip DeFranco's website. The other one is America, and the other one is Keep Calm and Vamp On, signed by Philip DeFranco himself. Not that that matters, but it's kind of a cool little thing to point out. Um, in the direct center of the wall, we have a 40-inch plasma smart uh, Roku TV. Of course, it's wall-mounted, and it does have extending capabilities, but it would kind of screw up my cable management, so I haven't, you know, bothered to move it forward or anything. And I can always move this nice leather couch forward if I wanted to. Down below, we have the coffee table with the main sound bar. This is, is the Blackweb Zulu 5.1 surround sound bar. It's Bluetooth, optical, and auxiliary uh, inputs for it. Um, and below, we have a Bluetooth subwoofer connected to it, which is super awesome. Um, guys, I would really, really, really love to find a link for this thing, but I got it at Walmart. Um, the actual company does not have a website. Amazon doesn't even have it. I got it at Walmart for a hundred bucks and it's great. It's aw it's awesome. But uh, I just don't, I don't know where the company came from. It just, it only exists at Walmart and I can't find any other third party place for it. Up on the wall, we have the cable and the power going to the cable box. It was an HDMI going up to the TV. Um, the, here is the optical and the power cable. Each one, everything comes down and it plugs into a surge protector back there, kind of hidden away um, for that, for the subwoofer, for everything over here that's powered. Um, this is the charger for my vape mechanical mod batteries that I just keep here just in case I need to recharge. Um, I don't usually keep it there, but I had to charge the batteries yesterday, so I haven't moved it since. Uh, one of the very many nerdgasms that you guys are going to see in this video is the lightsaber. Um, this is a, normally it's a Hasbro Anakin replica. Um, but last year, before uh, October or ish, and before um, the before Star Wars Seven came out, I actually modified it. So I took everything out. I took apart the blade. Um, there is a Luxion Rebel Three uh, blue LED in there now, as well as this whole part is new. The gold pins are new, and this uh, glass Graflex eye is also new from the Saber Shop. So that's some pretty sweet stuff. Um, I want to get another like actual Graflex replica soon, although they're like 200 bucks, but uh, here it is Super bright uh, the clash Is actually much more sensitive now, so I don't know what I did if I did anything to make it better But uh, here's the blade up on the wall and just plug it pop it right in there I don't have a retention screw for it uh, but just pop it right in and it lights up the blade beautifully. I'll go ahead and set that down. Again, that's one of the many nerdgasms you guys are going to see in this video. Just fair warning, if you guys are prone to heart attacks from nerdgasms, you may want to turn away now. Uh, we have the, an, uh, the Hobbit, an Unexpected Journey poster. I was going to get a movie for, um, I'm sorry, a poster for the second movie, but I could never find one that I liked and I was going to put it right here-ish. Um, 
But if we move on, I have one for the Desolation. <laughs> God, the Battle of the Five Armies, which was just as good. I don't, you know, I don't prefer one movie over the other. I loved all three of them. Um, pretty cool. I just actually saw that the guy who played Azog is actually going to be at Denver Comic Con this year. Um, as well as Carrie Fisher, as well as Clark Gregg, who plays Coulson in the Avengers. Um, Stan Lee is going to be there too. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go. It'd be nice to, to meet him and get an autograph or something because obviously I like the character and I love the movies. Um, I'll go ahead and, and show you guys the couch again real quick, just in the center of the room. We got the two remotes right here for the TV and the cable box. Um, again, if you guys are prone to heart attacks for nerdgasms, turn away right now because we are going to the swords up on the wall. This is Orcris. This is Thorn Oakenshield sword from the Hobbit series. This is a um, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. this is a United Cutlery uh, replica made out of AUS six stainless steel. Um, it is false edge normally, but I did sharpen it up. Um, there is a video of me on my channel cutting up some fruit with it, so that was pretty cool. Definitely go check that out. This sword is way more practical to use than Anduril from Lord of the Rings. Um, and the reason I say that is because Anduril has a 40 inch blade and the overall length of the actual sword is 52 and 7 eighths inches. So it's a massive, massive sword and it's heavy as hell. This one is also false edged, although the tip, wink wink, is, just, is uh, very, very sharp. So that could definitely do some damage. Um, beautiful sword, 23 karat gold uh, plated inlets in the pommel, as well as all the engraving, which looks just absolutely gorgeous. Leather handle, of course. Um, absolutely gorgeous sword, a lot heavier than Orchrist. Um, and a lot, again, a lot more impractical because it's so huge. You have to have a massive amount of arm strength to be able to swing it and actually get a good swing in. Um, in between them, we have the Orchrist certificate of authenticity as well as Anduril right here as well. So those are pretty sweet. I think those are the only ones I'm gonna have for now because they're the most badass swords, at least in my own opinion, because they actually have a lot of history behind them. Uh, whew. Right here we have a lightsaber um, prop replica that I made a couple years ago. Um, actually, one of my friends designed it, I, th I think, I don't remember. Oh no, I think this was the one I designed. This is just chrome piping. Um, with uh, a custom, it's actually tennis uh, tennis racket grip made for the actual grip and just a little accent there. I don't use it. Um, I have stunt blades that I could throw in there and that I could record and we could rotoscope, but that would take a while. And just frankly, frankly, not a big fan of those uh, videos really anymore. They're awesome, but I just don't, you know, have the time uh, to actually make them. So we'll go ahead and go underneath. We have the jump certificate from the place where I went last September for my birthday and did uh, skydiving. It was super fucking intense. It, I, in the videos, I said, if you guys have anywhere to go skydiving and you can go skydiving because it was awesome and get it on film. I also got it on film. You can find that video on my channel too. Go ahead and go to the Walking Dead poster real quick as well as the Star Wars, The Force Awakens poster right here. I'm going to move the chair out of the way and give you guys a full shot of the workstation right here. So it's nothing to really be too proud of, although I love it. It's awesome. It definitely draws attention. Um, I'll go ahead and start on this side of the desk. We got some vape stuff because I'm a vapor. Um, the modem and the router, which has one of the two coaxial cables coming from the splitter because the main one comes in from outside here and it is separated for one that goes to the cable box and then one that comes up for the interwebs. That's plugged into the router. Um, the speeds are crazy. We get like 120 down and 60 up, which is great. So awesome. I have the Bilbo pipe here. I actually got this for my birthday last year. Excuse me as well. Um, from, wow, from ThinkGeek. Fully, fully usable lighters. Of course, I got some tobacco that I also got for my birthday. Um, I also have a little thing to clean out the actual bowl of the pipe too, of course. I have a set, a brand new set of green dice for uh, our Dungeons and Dragons games that I do with some coworkers on Fridays. Got my school mug, one of the two that I actually have uh, that just sits here on the desk simply for decoration. I have the other one sitting at my desk at work. 
Um, if you guys are, real quick, if you guys are wondering what I do for work, um, I am a team focal or a trainer at uh, the local IBM and very soon I could be a manager. So if you're wondering how I afford all this, there's your answer. Um, we'll go ahead and continue up real quick actually because we have a Bluetooth headset here I got with my phone a while back. Um, and then we have the Corsair Vengeance 1200 wireless gaming headset. I actually don't use this very much anymore. Um, and then the speakers are all part of the Logitech Z506 surround sound system that I have set up from the PC. Here is all that good stuff. Um, here are a couple more nerdgasms. Actually, that's not a nerdgasm, that's my class ring. There's a Star Wars mug I got for my best friend right there, also for my birthday. I got a ton of stuff for my birthday. And the other one is Aragorn's ring, which is very, very cool. Um, it's got some gold-plated accents on there, but I feel like they're starting to wear off a little bit, but still gorgeous ring. Love wearing it. It shines like all hell. Go ahead and go down below. Um, I have a charger, a Chiro portable charger right here, as well as a Kindle Fire first gen and a Samsung Tab uh, 3 Lite, which I don't really use anymore. Um, if you guys are interested in buying either one of these, the Kindle Fire I'm selling for 40 bucks. Not sure about the Samsung tablet just yet. Down below we have more disks and software, some cables, a stapler, and in here we have all the cables, an extra hard drive from one I just replaced. Nothing really, pretty much just all computer parts in here, really. Um, a duster, of course, because it's, it's a glass desk. I mean, come on, you can't not have a duster. On the back we have the camera bag, the spray for the glass desk, as well as a rag, the wiper, or the, the, the microfiber cloth, a knife, and then my phone belt clip. We have my watch, a custom CD coaster for any time I want to have a drink at the desk. We'll go ahead and go on to the actual build. I'm um, not going to go too much into the peripherals, but this is a Corsair M, uh, I'm sorry, Corsair K70 RGB with uh, MX Red switches. Amazing keyboard. We have a Corsair MM200 mouse pad with an M65 RGB. Pretty freaking sweet. I love both of these and the ability to customize the colors and everything. We have, uh, we have two LG 24EN 43V-B uh, HD 1080p monitors, 60 hertz standard, being supported by a Loctec D5D monitor mount that they actually sent to me for a review. Amazing, amazing, amazing. The cable management is pretty freaking sweet. Um, I don't have it with that one cable because this is for when I connect my laptop at home to work from home. Um, the rest of the stuff down below is pretty well hidden. It's actually sorted away in the main uh, chassis of the arm and then it's routed away down to the power strips. Yes, I know, again, my cable management is not the best, but it's neater than I've seen in some places, so that's got to count. Um, of course, and simple NVIDIA backgrounds. On the top, we have a Logitech C920, I believe. This is the uh, 1080p um, HD uh, webcam. Pretty freaking sweet by Logitech. Super awesome for streaming. The, the mic quality isn't great, but that's why I don't use it, because I use the Blue Yeti right up here. And the Blue Yeti is on a shelf that has my uh, Bluetooth headsets and my GoPro Hero 4 Silver um, that I can just swing around. It's got a pop filter. I can unmute it and then I record. I take Skype calls and I do gaming, gaming from that. So that's pretty sweet. Um, we're not gonna go too much into the back, you know, wind, uh, wind thing. We got some balls. Great energy drink, got some. Got a Bluetooth hub for some chargers and wireless receivers. Got another Bluetooth hub over here, which is gonna be for this whole unboxing section. Um, these are all the boxes of the stuff I own. Here's a nice little sign for you. Keep that in mind. We got America. Um, this is going to be the unboxing section, so we're probably gonna have a camera set up here. Here's the tripod, there's my work bag. The camera is going to be set up here. There's probably going to be a desk or a table of some sort here, probably from like Ikea or somewhere. 
And then the hub is actually going to be connected to another web camera, an HD camera, as well as a separate microphone solely for unboxings. So I'm really psyched for that. We got some, just the computer parts and a ATH, uh, ATH M20X box from Audio-Technica. Um, those are actually the headphones that are sitting right over here that I use for gaming as well. Um, sitting right here on top of the monitor. Go ahead and go into the build. This build is an i7 4790K on an ASRock Z97 Extreme 4 motherboard with 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, two GeForce GTX 970 graphics cards in SLI, as well as a CX750M power supply by Corsair. All the fans are intense. We have a fan controller right in the front. Our current idle CPU temps are a below 30 degrees Celsius, which is pretty sweet. Uh, load, it only gets up to maybe 40 or 50, sometimes even the high, uh, like below low 60s. Um, custom LED lighting. We have a Samsung SSD in the back there for the boot drive, as well as a two terabyte for media and uh, one terabyte for programs and downloads and another terabyte for games, which is pretty freaking sweet. Love this build. It chucks out everything so, so easy. Um, if you guys are also wondering what camera I'm using, this is the Nikon Coolpix L830 model. Um, it's not a great camera, but it does exactly what I want it to. Maybe I'll get another one soon that's going to be a little bit easier to use and record with. I have a Kingston. Oh, here's my iPhone 6S just sitting on the desk there. Oops, I unlocked it. Wow, that was quick. Um, here's a Kingston card reader for copying media and movies to micro SD cards. This is probably one of my favorite parts of this because this is a the whole LED strip going around the desk. Link is also in the description, by the way. Um, can do this. I can change the lighting colors to pretty much anything I want. I usually have it on white because white looks really good. Um, I can always have it set to fade or I can set it to uh, jump, which is like I'm in a rave. That's pretty slow. Let's switch it to that one. Nope, that's still pretty slow. That's all right. Oh, let's do quick. It's not really much faster. Let's go back to the white. I really like that white color and I can always turn them off when I'm not around. I don't want to waste the energy. Um, of course, they're LEDs, so it's not going to really waste energy, but whatever. You get it. Um, on the top, we actually have just a little charging port for uh, the LG Watch Urbane uh, Android Wear that I have on currently. Um, very, very nice watch. I think I've had it on all morning and the battery is only at 90%, so that's pretty freaking sweet. It's actually late afternoon now, it's about, oh no, oh no guys, look at the time, look at the time, wait for it, wait for it, wait let's see what my watch says, now we still got about 35 seconds so I'm not going to wait that long. <laughs> Over here we have the mini fridge, just has some snacks and stuff in it, ooh, I totally forgot about this, Lego Star Wars, I just installed this again. This is the second one, the original trilogy. I love that freaking game, it's so fun. I, I, even if it only plays in 720p, it's so great, just so great. Mountain Dews, I got some matzah uh, back here. Um, this is a flatbread, it's unleavened for Passover, the Jewish holiday, uh, because I'm in, I'm in that time and I have to have flatbread. I can't have anything with like wheat or blah, blah, blah. Um, long story about that. If you guys want to search the reasons behind that, go ahead and Wikipedia Passover. You'll see why. I got some popcorn. I got some tuna. I got some plates and some paper towel and some Capri Sun because who doesn't like Capri Sun? Um, inside the fridge, I do have... Um, I got some hummus, I got some chocolate milk, I got some eggs, I got some tomato sauce, I got some cheese, I got some turkey, I got some beers, I got some milk. Um, good stuff just for little snackings and stuff. Um, to the right here, I have a uh, can for empty, uh, thing for, a box for empty cans. Here I have a ton of chocolates for when people come over because they love to raid my food. And down below I have some chips and some jelly bellies with ton of bags from Target as well as some Ziploc bags for what, you know, what have you. That's pretty much it for this uh, this studio tour. I'll go ahead and actually, I guess I'll go back here real quick. Got a high school diploma. We got some bullet shells. 
little thing of ram sticks. Um, little story behind this, you can actually see a vlog on my channel called Shenanigans uh, when my other best friend came down from Florida, or my best friend who also gave me the, um, also got me that little Star Wars uh, Stormtrooper mug back there. We have an iPhone 5S box, an iPhone 6S box, and the box for the LG Watcher Bane, as well as the box for the GoPro. And on top, let's go ahead and move this out of the way, I guess. We have a little temperature monitor, just in case when I open the windows I can see what it is. It's currently 17 Celsius in here. Uh, the indoor humidity is okay, as at least that's what it's reading. So that's pretty much it for this, uh, this room tour, really. Um, there's the other, uh, this is the far right speaker for the um, sound system, the subwoofer is down there. The far left is over here, left, middle, and right. So it, it's really it. Um, there really hasn't been much that's changed so far. Um, I have curtains up on the window so there's no glare. Um, and it still does let a little bit of light in. Outside, there's the hot tub, which I need to fix because I'm actually gonna move it into the backyard um, next to the trampoline because it's just, it's, it's right in the driveway and it's it's kind of weird and we're gonna I'm gonna build something um, to get more privacy back there too because we got the fire pit we have the trampoline and then we're gonna have the hot tub back there I don't know when I'm gonna move it uh, when I'm just gonna have that time at all so that's really it for this video um, I am gonna get some more stuff soon um, like I said there's a ton of room right here because I moved the piano from here um, I was wondering if I'm gonna be, if I should be putting anything up on this uh, where the vent comes through. Um, I don't think I will, but I'm not sure. Um, I want you guys to tell me what changes should be made, if anything, um, and if you guys prefer the LED lighting over the halogen lighting, um, because the LED lights are extremely cheap. They're like five bucks each, um, and I have one. Uh, th this isn't LED. This is halogen. This is the LED. And then these are halogen as well. Um, let me know what you guys think on which one provides better color uh, for everything. Because I think I like the LEDs, but they're a little, little freaking white for me. They're just a tad bit white. Um, so that's really it. That is the studio tour for April of 2016. If you guys would like to see more, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what gameplay videos you guys want to see. Um, I've been doing a lot of World of Warships, if you guys are into any of those games. I don't think you are. Um, I could be wrong, I mean, I don't know. But uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think, what you guys want to see or do not want to see. Um, again, it hasn't changed very much since last time. Hopefully next time I'm gonna have the whole unboxing station next time, uh, next time set up. This, that's the door to my room, it's a mess in there, so I'm not gonna show you guys that. Um, and uh, this is the... Uh, next thing I need to get done. I really need to get that sanded and then painted um, to, to look nice and good. So that's pretty much it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Again, if you're interested for more, definitely uh, go over to Twitter. Follow me at underscore, at underscore the Ninth Divine. I also have a Facebook page called The Ninth Divine. The YouTube channel just hit one million views, which is fucking awesome. It doesn't really mean much because I don't get anything for it, but it's freaking awesome. Uh, and that's climbing. It's already at like a million and twelve thousand, which is pretty sweet. So again, like, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Facebook page is also The Ninth Divine. I will see you guys there. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I have about 45 seconds left on this video to say anything. Uh, I really got nothing to say. Um, yeah, I got, I got nothing to say. I, I do not have anything to say. Okay, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one, which would be sometime soon. Hopefully this will be all set up and I'll do like a time lapse or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But again, thanks for watching. I am out of breath. Now I'm actually going to go upstairs and get a drink. So I will see you guys in the next one.